We're here at the Under-18 European Championship with Mikhail Jantunin. Uh, a very historic win today for you guys over Lithuania. Uh, you had a great game. Uh, tell me a little bit about what happened this afternoon. Uh, we followed our game plan and played our own game and that brought us a win. Uh, we just we didn't focus too much on if we got a bad pass or turnover. We just uh, focused on the game and got the win. What does this uh, win tell us about the progress that basketball is making in Finland? It's, it's not something that maybe we could have imagined five, five, ten years ago, but now we're seeing, you know, lottery picks coming out of Finland and, you know, you guys blowing out a, a traditional European powerhouse like Lithuania. Uh, well, uh, this is uh, like a good sign of uh, the junior, how we work on our juniors. Uh, we get like a lot of practice and we're a lot with the team before the games that makes us really prepared for the tournament. And that, well, this is the result of it. We played a really good game against one of the biggest countries in basketball in Europe. Tell me a little bit about yourself, uh, when you're, where you're from, when you started playing basketball, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm from Helsinki, Finland. Uh, I started playing basketball when I was 11 or 12 years old. Uh, I switched from football to basketball then, and well, I've stayed with basketball now. We, we've been watching you for a few years now, and it looks like you've been making um, steady progress. Um, this was definitely the best game we've seen you play, uh, definitely in this kind of setting. Uh, what has been the key for you in terms of your, your progression as a player? Uh, when I moved to my house, high school, HBA, Mars, HBA Marsk, uh, I got to play against other uh, older national team players from the youth leagues. And that's the real thing in progress, when you get to play against the same year olds that are really good, so the progress is really huge. Uh, have you grown? Have you gotten stronger? Tell me about your progression physically and, and where are you at right now in terms of height, weight, wingspan, that kind of thing? Uh, well, uh, I think I'm pretty much grown up. I maybe a little bit more I could grow, but uh, we work every day on physics uh, with our, in our high school team. And I, I've, I've seen it. Uh, you feel a lot stronger. You, uh, it's easier to play on the court with, uh, when you play against stronger guys also. And uh, uh, the, your height and your uh, yeah, uh, I'm two meters long, a, a bit tall, six foot eight. Uh, my wingspan is uh, two oh five, is six nine, uh, and I think I'm about a hundred kilos. You've always been a really good rebounder in every competition you played at. Um, you know, even when you were, uh, didn't, you know, where you weren't as strong as you are now, you always got after on the glass. Um, has this always been kind of part of your game, and, and where does this come from? This rebounding for you? Uh, I started when I started. Uh, I wasn't a good scorer or something, and uh, my team was like really. We weren't the tallest one, but we were really physical, and then that just became one of a big part of my game to get the rebounds on offensive and uh, defensive level. What's the next step for you in terms of your evolution as a player? I gotta get a solid three-point jumper, and like I gotta get my shooting better. Uh, anything you can tell me about your plans for the future? I guess you have two more years of high school. Uh, what are your thoughts about your future? Uh, the big focus is now this and the next season with my high school. And after that, it's, it's still open to see. But continue playing at least at high level. That's the goal. Uh, any um, seeing a guy like uh, Lowry Markinen come out of you know your school out of HBA. What what does that do for you and your teammates to see a guy go to a school like Arizona, become a you know a top level NCAA player, and then be a top ten draft pick? What does that mean for you guys in Finland? Uh, it's a big motivation and inspiration to see that someone from our school can make it and play at that, such a high level. It just gives you more motivation to work on your own game. Great stuff, Mikhail. Thank you so much. Thank you.